Hi, George Panacchio here at OnTheRedCarpet.com with two of the stars of True Beauty, a hit on ABC. We've got Erica here and David here who are now dating in real life. So did the love connection happen during the show, after the show? Were there things that could be on a director's cut of this show that we want to see? an instant connection um, you know as soon as we met each other there was something there we remained friends throughout the taping of the show as well as you know the whole time period while we were actually waiting for the show to air but it actually evolved um, when the show was airing yeah. yeah like yeah during the seventh episode it was a beautiful night it was on the beach in Huntington Beach where I live and she was here for the finale party and next thing you know sparks flew and <laughs> The rest is history. Keep an arrow, keep us in his arrow and hit me. <laughs> so I know that you are an astrologer, so what would have happened if you did her chart and it said it wasn't right for you? Well, we wouldn't be standing here now, but honestly, the chart did say it was great, and um, that's the beauty of it, honestly. So this show, True Beauty, I mean, I remember even in the first season, there were people you immediately rooted for and people you immediately wanted booted out. Was there anyone in your season that you just wanted gone because they were just bad karma? Okay, to be honest, yeah, Liz. <laughs> she terrorized us. She terrorized me. She terrorized the whole house. You know, God bless her soul, but yeah, she's a little crazy. Yeah. I'm thinking you're going to say ditto. <laughs> yeah, ditto, honestly, because Liz and I got in a big argument during the show, and that was the only time I was really feeling angry was when I was with her. And, uh, you know, it was true beauty, of course. It was all about inner beauty. And unfortunately, my argument with Liz showed not inner beauty, but she really pushed me, you know? Okay, so I'm standing here side view, sucking in my gut with two people from True Beauty. Tell me what your biggest flaw is. I can see what's right. What's wrong? <laughs> my biggest flaw? Um, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> nobody's perfect. Um, you know, I would honestly say, I don't know. I mean, I have the ability to laugh at myself. I like to be silly. I like to be, I can be emotional. Maybe that could be my flaw, you know, a little up and down. No physical flaw? Bad toe or anything? <laughs> My feet are a little crazy, that's why I'm hiding them today. <laughs> Some cute shoes, you know. <laughs> all right, so you live by the beach. That means you're probably walking the beach all the time with your shirt off. So from here to here, it's probably good. Where's your flaw? Well, first of all, I gotta say, we moved in together now, so we're not, I don't live in Huntington anymore. Oh, we're okay. up here in LA now, so we moved in together. Um, but my flaw is my mouth. I just cannot control my mouth sometimes. It's the biggest flaw I probably have. And my hair, you know? Like, on the show, my hair was wild and crazy, and a lot of people on the blogs were going, who in the hell, you know, who in the heck is this porcupine guy? But, you know, honestly, it's definitely my mouth, you yeah, know? The, the hair's good. No, the hair's good now. Now it's good. But well, on the show, it was a little different. So basically, you had the hair a change a little makeover, bit. A little makeover, <laughs> no. Do you help each other out when it comes to the inner and the outer beauty now? Is that part of what makes each of you better as people? Honestly, I think our relationship is so beautiful because we are, I mean, for number one, he's my best friend. You know, we get along amazing, and we really balance each other out very well. What, you know, I might lack, he helps me in, you know? What he might lack, I help him in, and it's really just a beautiful connection. That's really lovely. I mean, I hear wedding bells. Am I putting you on the spot? <laughs> We've definitely talked about it. Uh, ah! um, but definitely, she brings out the best in myself, and honestly, together, I like to say we're one soul that's split into a male and a female, and we've come back together, you know, and that's how I really feel. You know, in this world, in Hollywood, when you look as good as these two do, offers sometimes come to the table. So I'm wondering, Playboy, Playgirl, been approached by either, and would you do it? Um, I personally, you know, no judgment. I don't judge anyone that does do it. For me, I'm all about making my mom proud. Um, and my mom and my family definitely wouldn't like that very much. No. But actually, um, David and I have, we have some really great opportunities right now. I am the official spokesmodel for a website called ShareUp.com. It's a hair care and beauty website, and David is, has a spokesmodel position out now, too. Yeah, oh yeah, it's uh, StarHearts.com. It's an astrology service, basically. Instead of giving you your fate, we're going to give you a reading that's just off your birthday. And and it's going to be everything from compatibility. So if you want to know if a business partner is good or, you know, your significant other will tell you that as well. So we're not going to see either one of you on any pages of anything anytime soon. Well, you know, definitely not Playboy or Playgirl. 
All right, let's talk just about your life because you look, you're one of those people that are multi hyphenates. It's not like I'm an entertainment reporter, that's all I do. Singer, actress, host. What else is on the horizon? I do. I am a singer, songwriter. I've been really focusing on my acting. I have an agent now. Dave and I both have an agent. I've been going out in auditions all the time. I really want to get into soap work. Um, that's my immediate goal right now. Also, hosting. You know, like I said, I'm a spokesmodel for Sheer Up. But um, yeah, I mean, those are my those are my immediate goals right now. So two years ago, your goal would not have been to be a television star or a host, I'm guessing, because you have this other life. Is that other life going to take a back seat and will we see you more and more on camera? Well, definitely more on camera. I mean, I'm doing the whole spokesman thing and then I'm a house DJ, so right even before the show, I mean, I was going to clubs and playing house music and True Beauty really helped me out, started giving me across the nation, getting to play everywhere and definitely when it comes to TV, I mean, I'm a salesman, so I like to sell and I like to be on TV, so it kind of goes well together. Okay, so do you have that move with your hands when you're spinning that thing? He's all the moves. You gotta get down. You gotta get down with that. <laughs> so you could dance. So theoretically, either one of you would be fit for Dancing with the Stars if you chose to do a little bit more reality. Yes. <laughs> That would be fun. See, this is good. This yeah. is like another aspect to your personality. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> uh, this is, a, we're here at Reality Rocks. It's a different kind of experience. It's the first year. We're getting our feet wet here. Does it surprise you that so many people in the public are fascinated by your lives? It used to be a different kind of celebrity. Social media changed that. Reality TV has certainly changed that. Now people recognize you. Do you love it? Does it make you nervous? Would you come back here again? I love it. Um, it's really fun. Eric and I both were on MTV back in 2006, and so ABC True Beauty really kind of was the big steroid for us to push us out there in a new way. And we love it because when it came to True Beauty, that's what fan fans love it. They love genuine people. And we all, I can say, are genuine people. And that's the best part about True Beauty and being on ABC because the network is the best network and we love ABC. You know, one thing about True Beauty, uh, I know that watching it, there's that great gallery. It's like an art gallery of beautifully airbrushed, touched up, well lit, perfect pictures of all of you. When the show ends, are those two pictures now over your mantle? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have those pictures. We actually never got them. We might be able to like write Carson or Beth and tell them, uh -huh. you know, that we want them. That'd be a great idea. <laughs> but um, we actually we have some pictures, you know, that we take. We do photo shoots together, David and I, and. Yeah. So you, 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 this has all been satisfying. The world of reality has treated you well. Yeah, well, National Enquirer did a big article about us and our love. I guess there was fans on the ABC website blogging about hearing that we had hooked up during the show. So National Enquirer ran this whole article about us, and that really helped our relationship because together we're a team. Yeah. And uh, True Beauty, were, you know, we were competition fighters against each other, but now we're a team and we're a unit, and we go all the way together. Well, the best relationships in Hollywood are teams that can last and hold together when one career is doing a little bit better than another career, because everything ebbs and flows in this town. So how joyful are you when something great happens for him and vice versa? You know, it makes me so happy. I think that's another beautiful thing of our relationship is that we both really genuinely love each other, we support each other. We lift each other up. He always lifts me up, you know. Whenever I have a moment where I might be feeling a little insecure, you know, I'm nervous for an audition, say, like, he always like, oh, girl, don't worry about it, you know. He always makes me feel really good and confident, yeah. and, you know, it's, it's back and forth. It's really nice, David. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, I can't go wrong, right? I mean, I, the most beautiful woman in the world is my support back, and I just, it, it, it melts my heart, really, it does. Now, before I let you go, this is, um... A nice Sunday in Los Angeles. It's a beautiful day out. Does the world say this is a good place to be today, David? It's perfect place to be. Actually, the whole world is shifting right now into a beautiful era, and it's really the time right now, and it's for individuals to capture what they want in their life. So be a little selfish right now individually. It's, this, it's that time for everybody. Because you know, it makes me a little nervous, because around L.A. right now, there are all these billboards that say the world is ending in a matter of oh, days. Right. It freaks me out. Uh, it, it's ironic because it's on her birthday. <laughs> like of all the days, it couldn't be May 22nd. Why? <laughs> we don't have to worry about that is what you're telling me. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Good. David and Erica, thank you so much for joining us here at OnTheRedCarpet.com.